It's un freaking believable, man. I thought somebody was fucking burned, and I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Look at it. I mean, it's, it wasn't that hot today. <laughs> I mean, you... It's freaking... This is 7.30 at night. What the hell? Look at up in the look just like you say dude just like you say see how it crawled up see how it crawled up skip the spot started at the bottom all that's gone all that's gone that's two by fours man look it's it skipped it skipped all that you know it wouldn't have skipped that that's crazy bro that's fucking crazy man i'm a fucking believer now not that i wasn't but I was just thinking about that shit the other day. Like, man, I've not seen any of that yet. I've not seen any of that fucking yet. I promise you, I didn't fucking start this fire, dude. I don't need attention like that. Fucking landlord's gonna love it. Look at how it burned out under there. That's where the nails are. See, there's a nail. That's fucking nuts. I mean, there was some foam over there, but I don't fucking... How did I... Look at... We're ready to tear this shed down. There's no electricity that runs to it. The outside. Look at it. It's all it's been fucking. I don't know. I just started smoking too. I seen smoke out the front. Some neighbors are burning tires. I, mean, I really don't know. Here's the ends of the, the trim boards. These are the trim boards. That's fucking nuts, dude. It's just like how you were saying, too. Man, I hope there's nothing else fucking smolder. It's just like how you were saying, too. You know, it goes up. Look how it skipped here. It skipped here. Everything was dry. I soaked this just to... I, so, I ran and fucking soaked it, dude. Holy shit. What are the fucking odds of that, man? I think I'm fucking nuts. I guess it's still hot. I can still feel heat. It was just, it was just starting to be a little flame. I mean, I got, I got out here just in time. Holy shit! Wow! Jesus Christ! Look at that. Well. I think we'll be tearing this fucker down quicker than we saw it here. Look down, it's down the bottom. It's the ground and everything. Ooh, it's still fucking, it's still warm. Damn. It was getting old. The outside was shot, but there's no electricity that runs to it. There's no electricity, nothing that runs to it. It's just, it's been 10 years. Fucking... I know it's particle board and shit, but still, that's two by fours on the inside, man. That's, that's just like you said, though. There's your burn, then it skips, then it burns. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was <laughs> spontaneous combustion. Jesus fucking, I doubt it, dude. I don't even know if it's over. I really don't. All right, well, I guess I'll post this, send you a comment or something, man. Maybe you'll check it out. I don't know. After that stupid ball fucking incident, probably don't trust me, but. Fucking hey. Guess I better pull the fucking snowblower out of there. Damn. Let me see, it's empty. We're getting ready to tear it down. I was going to salvage the two by fours. That was going to be it. Salvage the two by fours. You know, fucking yard linear board foot, man. Cost money. Everything else is good, you see. It's not 
I don't know, I mean, animals drug that fucking foam in here, but still. Right in the corner? Man, that's fucking crazy, dude. Right on the corner. Well, there's not much I can add to that. Other than right here, you can kind of see a pretty fine line between the particle board on the right and the 2x4 on the left, and how it just burned one and not the other. You don't get it to the... You don't get it to the point where it's 100% charcoal on the bottom couple inches, and then nothing above. I don't think this actually combusts into a flame. It sizzles. That's why I've also referred to it as uh, field-activated combustion synthesis. I'm having trouble remembering the name of the guy that actually came up with that terminology, field-activated combustion synthesis, because it's like it sizzles, like it's in a microwave, without actually combusting into a flame. Here you can see the nail on the bottom part of this board. Here you can see the nail right here that went into the ground right there. And here you get a good still shot. Future reference, hold your camera still. The other way, you know he didn't fake this. You can tell he is rattled hard. <laughs> but the fact that that much of the wood is gone, that part of the area is turned to charcoal and the surrounding area is untouched, almost kind of proves that it didn't actually combust. Otherwise, if you got a that much wood flaming at the bottom, it keeps going. All the way up the... All the way up the board, the whole barn would have went down. And you can't start a flame beneath there. It's touching the ground. Flame goes upward. The only way to produce that would be with like a blowtorch from the side because you can't get under it. So I think it's pretty clear it was plasma fire because com uh, spontaneous combustion, that's not a thing. <laughs> Maybe wood spontaneously combust at like three or four hundred degrees, but that's just a word they came up with to describe spontaneous human combustion when they have no other explanation. And some people have speculated that spontaneous human combustion is actually possibly a plasma fire. Here I just got another still shot just because the, it, was, it was tough to find still shots. You got to keep your camera still while, while it's moving. You really can't see shit. But considering the circumstances, I can tell you are rattled. We'll forgive that. And you can still see it smoking at the one minute mark. Everybody wants to be a truther. Till it's time to do some truther shit. Watch, you'll see it smoking right here. And here, welcome to the club. You're now a plasmologist. So I'll leave the link in the description to Johnny Looks Overhead channel. You heard him saying something about, you probably don't trust me after that ball thing. One day he let the sound of his own wheels drive him crazy. And mistook the tennis ball that he was throwing to his dog <laughs> for a fast mover flying over his house. And he was mistaken. He corrected his mistake. And it was an honest mistake. I'm John. I started this channel to share my evidence of ships and machines all over our skies. What are they and whose are they is debatable. I record daily with a FLIR infrared thermal imaging camera. Along the way, I might add commentary for information I find interesting. Channels that are helping us find the elusive truth to our reality. Not limiting myself to just infrared, but sky phenomenon. I film it, I will show it. If you decide to look over the videos, be prepared for another branch of our morphing reality. And just know that they are everywhere. I contend all the clouds are cloaked craft of some kind. Furthermore, I have hundreds of videos showing them. Superstructures to shuttle size craft. Smartly adrift, high-tech Navy-like airboats with high-tech camouflaged holes that can display anything. No sense to ignore it. Better to keep your eye on it. I have fun making the videos, my public diary of my journey, and the discovery of the cloud craft. 
So I didn't mean to sound condescending when I was reading his description, saying the cloud craft, because cloud craft are really a thing. This is a video that I uploaded just a couple weeks back. You can almost see it better on a smaller thumbnail image. Those are clearly not just clouds. <laughs> and where is it? I was right about the idea that spontaneous combustion is not a thing. Cloud craft, those are a thing. Spontaneous combustion, that's not a thing. He was showing you the weather from the day to show you that it wasn't even very hot today. And on the weather reports, when they're showing you fires, they often refer to the temperature. It was a real hot day! Because they know you associate temperature and heat with fire, and thus if it's hotter, then uh, it's more conducive to fire. No, nope. he was showing you that it was a 70 degree day, and uh, it would already cool down past the high at 7.30 at night. Not on a 100 degree day, not on a 150 degree day, not even on a 350 degree day. As it says here, meaning that wood starts to burn noticeably at this temperature range, though the exact ignition point can vary depending on... Uh, one of these said that in a 350 degree oven you should be fine. So, spontaneous combustion, he's just going through the motions of logic and reason and trying to stay open to other explanations, but introducing this idea of spontaneous combustion in order to keep it within the bookends of known reality, that's not within the bookends of known reality. Spontaneous combustion doesn't happen, there's the one, where it talks about the oven. Wood combusts at about 450 degrees, so a 350 degree oven should be safe. So not on a 100 degree day does the temperature explain the wood catching fire, not on a 150 degree day, not on a 350 degree day, not in all of known history has spontaneous combustion ever been a logical or reasonable or rational explanation from within known reality of why wood catches on fire. But field activated combustion synthesis might be. Field activated combustion synthesis is a process that uses an electric field to affect the dynamics of wave propagation in combustion synthesis. FACs has been used to synthesize a variety of materials including, and it goes through all these different things, Combustion synthesis is a wet chemical method that involves the, an exothermic reaction between metal nitrates, the nail, and organic fuel, the wood. And as far as these fast movers, you know how Johnny looks overhead, was throwing a tennis ball over his roof and thought he caught a, a fast mover, so he posted it and then I reposted it. And one of my viewers said, dude, looking at this on my big screen TV, that looks like a tennis ball. And I looked at the video again and realized, yeah, and his dog's head is tracking the ball as it comes over the roof, and he turns and runs to go fetch the ball. So you're not gonna you're not gonna try and gaslight me no more with any more tennis balls, right, Johnny? You learned your lesson, right? Because the plasma gods frown upon, you know, people trying to discredit their frontline representative over here. Now you got a shot across the barn. You learned your lesson, right? Okay. Speaking of these fast movers, I'll include the link to 20 unexplainable aerial anomalies. Latchkey Hustle is putting out next level video. He's right up there with MB3. You're interested in seeing the latest uh, UFOs in the development? He's the one showing it. He's even gone over some of the Las Vegas footage. I can't blow that up. I dismissed the Las Vegas UFO thing, and as, as I'm sure many of you did, because there was very little footage, but he analyzed it and shows some close-up footage. Not just in the one that says Las Vegas footage assessment, but in the next one. Thermo-mesostratospheric anomalies plus Las Vegas. And in that one... I'm convinced something really happened there. And Latchkey Hustle, 
According to Dr. Robert Stipe at the Custodian Files channel, Mr. Latchkey Hustle holds a prominent position of high status within society, and if you knew the position he held within the department that he works, it brings clout and credibility to the community, not just people uh, doing weird shit in their mom's basement. He said that part of his job is assessing the veracity of people and the way that those people in the Las Vegas incident happened. They retreat instantly, even though they're all packing guns, as soon as you see something light up in the backyard. And he zooms in on that something and shows you that it appears a lot like that slee stack, the standard classic image of the big eyes on the face. 20 unexplainable aerial anomalies will show you there's some things going on. Not birds that look like birds and then turn into a silver bullet and then turn back into something that looks kind of like a bird. He's showing you next level stuff. And because he said my job is to assess the veracity of people and I can tell by the behavior of the guys over here in the Las Vegas shooting that that was a real incident. And I feel for the family. And that affected them in ways that they'll never be able to get over their lives are forever changed. That means he's some sort of an interrogator or an investigator. Behave, forensic behavioral analysis type of thing. Anyway, these fast movers that uh, Johnny looks overhead, thought he captured one of when it turned out it was just his own tennis ball that he was throwing over the roof. They're real. They're here. They're going to enter the equation, and everything else becomes obsolete. They fly circles around our fighter jets, and lightning bolts move a lot faster than bullets and missiles. That firepower they're packing, plasma firepower, eliminates everything we've ever known opens up the doors to a whole new world. The discovery of fire brought us from the caveman to the world we are today. Everything in our world is as a result of the process of learning to harness the power of fire. Every piece of, every piece of plastic and metal, all the combustion engines that we use, the jet airplanes, the rockets, the bullets, that's all as a result of learning to harness the power of fire. This is a whole new kind of fire, and we're at the caveman stage of discovering it. And once we learn how to harness this level of power within this fire, it takes us to a type 1 civilization. We're there.